We're dining at Carousel Coffee. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Theme Park Foodies and we are at a very controversial spot. Uh, well, not right now. We're, we're going to be at a controversial <laughs> spot. Uh, we're at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We've been doing a lot of different uh, tours uh, and uh, trying out different eateries at the boardwalk. We've been very impressed by the decor, the atmosphere, the ambiance of the resort, as well as the selective dining options. Uh, mostly the deli, I feel like you tried. <laughs> and uh, the gingerbread display. But we are going to try out their newest offering carousel coffee what, what, what are your feelings like sam so from what i've seen uh on twitter uh it looks very boring the theming is it's really lacking in the theming for well, such a, a deluxe beautiful resort yeah. it just very plain. I'm trying to refrain generic. from judgment until I've seen it. There have been a lot of criticisms on uh, the uh, new or the um, refurbished the areas that this has of, been recently. you know, styling. Yeah. Of there it. was a lot of hate on uh, connections uh, as well, but I do like the little hints and nods to connections. It, it, the themings right now seem to be more light uh, rather than kind of like these immersive environments that Disney has been known to create. Um, although Carousel Coffee has been has been called, I believe, by by certain people, uh, a hospital <laughs> cafeteria. Uh, so, and it definitely, from what I've seen online, does not look super impressive. I am going to refrain from judging the theming until I see it, and I'm hoping that the food is good because I feel like all the food offerings we've had recently yeah, is really I mean, good. I think the most important thing is like, how does the coffee taste? Yes. So. Yeah. I think the atmosphere. Well, I feel like when you pay that Disney premium, I do think atmosphere is very important to note, and I think for me, the numbers. Definitely, I give higher numbers to places that have more immersive environments. But, hopefully the coffee's good. I'm excited to try it out. Are you ready to walk yeah, over? Yeah, there's like a cinnamon bun flavor that they have right now. Ooh, like yeah, I want to try that. So that. Yeah. Definitely. Let's see what food they have. I wonder if it's going to be the same the bakery has. So. It looked like there were a couple or of different deli. things. There was like this raspberry danish that looked different. So Nice. All right, let's try it out. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our breakfast here at Carousel Coffee. All right, we are back in. Where's the carousel? Right there. See, this is the style we were talking about. It's like a turn-of-the-century Atlantic City boardwalk style. But these chairs are super creepy. They haven't gotten rid of them, though. And look, you can see like right here, like this looks like something you would see or decor that you would see in the turn of the century. But apparently they're changing it. So, we are close. We will see what it looks like when we get there. All right, so we got our drinks and our food. Uh, so... I mean, I think the food looks pretty good. The crumb cake definitely looks like it's like a New York-based crumb cake. It's New Jersey crumb cake. Oh, New Jersey crumb But I feel cake. like we had this at the Boardwalk Deli. I feel like you can get it at the Boardwalk Deli. Sure. This is the newer thing, the raspberry danish. Yeah, that's like their thing. And they also come, they also have this like in little bites in a bag at the counter. Yes. Uh, and then this is like a vintage. Mickey cookie. and Minnie cookie. cookie. So, I mean, as far as the decor goes, it definitely looks more modern. Um, it's sterile. Even yeah, like where we are a lot now, of white. Like it's just like the, the seating area is very, uh, very sterile. There's, there's nothing on the walls. I'm not sure if they just haven't like finished putting pictures on the walls yet. But um, seating area, I mean, it does have a nice view of the lobby. The lobby is very nice. You can see behind Sam. Um, the boardwalk deli is very cramped, yeah. so it's kind of good that you could it is a little more spacious in there mm -hmm. and you can use your refillable mugs to get coffee like the self-serve coffee yeah. so if you're standing here i think it's better than the deli gets very tightly packed as far as the interior decor goes uh they really just it's just some pictures of the teacups on the wall which you think i mean for a turn of the century Atl you know uh, atlantic city style is there one carousel picture up i think it's prince charming's regal carousel which is in walt disney world an older carousel for sure but um, carousel coffee, really, the only carousel you find is there. Um, the cast members, though, were awesome. I just want to note that, like, they were so helpful, and they do have some exclusive options here, like the Danish, which I think is something that looks like you could maybe find at the turn of the century. Uh, crumb cake, something that you'd find from Atlantic City, and um, that cinnamon bun coffee. coffee. 
And then we also got the Shakerado, which you can also get at the Riviera. Yes, so the Shakerado is kind of like one of their exclusive higher end resort type drinks. Yeah, and it's got some like sugar in it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to try the food out. So uh, let's see how it is. All right, Sam is gonna try the Danish. No, uh, this was there's like tongs you like do self serve, and it was yeah. really hard to get it off because it was like sticking to the paper. Yeah, it was, like it's very sticky. It's got like almost a sugar uh, coating on it. I like sugary things, so. Mm. This is very good. It's sweet, not too sweet flaky and then you have these like crunchy bits on the top oh. which is nice the different textures it's good one to ten but it's like getting like stuck to my teeth is it raspberry like does it have that tart raspberry yeah. with the sweetness I, that, that's what i think would bring that out it's not, like overpowering i'll go seven nice all right, so this is the exclusive here. It's the Cinnabon, cinnamon bun coffee, not cinnabun. This ain't cinnabun. Stuck to my teeth. <laughs> oh my god. They're yeah, very sugary. Yeah, I don't like things when they get stuck to my teeth. You know what's in this, Sam? Lower third. Put in the lower third. <laughs> Definitely cinnamon. It's like a frozen coffee, like a cold brew. Yeah. Cinnamon it's almost like a frappuccino. Flavor, and there's also like a hint of mocha in it. I feel like. It's very good, and it's not like overly sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost disappointed but, I didn't get that. But very cinnamon forward, so hopefully you like cinnamon. Yeah, I mean cinnabun, cinnamon. I feel like it makes sense. It's really good though. I would give this an eight. Nice. So at least the exclusive options in the food are, are looking like they're pretty this solid. Thing, as good as it is though, it's like super sticky, and it's like legitimately like I have to peel it off my teeth, which I'm making me nervous. Shake the shakerado. Shakerado. So this has got, um, it's got like a little ten, tiny bits of ice and it's two shots of espresso, right Sam? Double espresso. And then it's got like There's some kind of sugar. sugar. Yeah, there's like a yeah. special sugar in it. You love it? I love it. I wasn't expecting that. I don't like, but I actually, it's a lie. I do like the sweeter, <laughs> not sweeter, but um, I do like the creamier coffees. But as you can see, this has got really no cream in it. It's just that sugar with like the blackness of the espresso. And I think that sugar and coffee just go very well together because the bitterness with the sweet kind of complements itself. It's like a flavor explosion in your tongue. Definitely when you're like tired midday and you need to go head back to the park, I would definitely this pick one great. of those out. Yeah. You look like, wow, great. you feel like, I feel like you look more energized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of gives you a little bite. I mean, I could see other people not liking it, but I think this is awesome. Um, it just depends on your flavor palette, like we say all the time. Numbers are suggested. Try the cinnamon, though. Oh, uh, okay. It's really good. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, this is creamier. I don't get any mocha Well, it's like a blended. I, I, yeah. tiny bit I like of mocha. it a lot. I like this more, I think, though. I'm actually happy. Well, I'm happy there. because I would like to have that one to myself. <laughs> Uh, although I'm gonna give both eights. They're original, good coffees. Um, I enjoy the standard Joffrey's coffee, although I feel like I like Joffrey's coffee more, coffee more than Joffrey's cold brew. I like Starbucks cold brew more than Starbucks coffee. But um, both are really good. So yeah, double eights for me. All right, New Jersey apparently has got good crumb cake. It's crazy because like I'm just looking behind you and it's just like white. Like it does not, you, you would not think that we're in Disney right now. It's like we're visiting family in a hospital. It's really comfortable. Yeah, no. I, so. I, like, I definitely got hospital vibes, though. It's too white. I mean, the color matches the interior, but the walls need something, for sure. This is good. If you look at crumb cake, I would, I'd be happy to forgot New York. I'm going to give this a, a solid The crumbs look crumb like big. Yeah, it's big. It's got a lot of crumb. It looks which, dense. When I get a crumb cake, I want tons of crumb, not as much cake. I want the cake just almost accentuate the flavor of the crumb. It's a it's a good crumb cake for me. I want to try this one. He said the six fifty. This is the what is this? It's like a raspberry Danish. Mm. That's a good you know. That's a good thing to have with a hot coffee. Mm. That Danish. Very sticky. 
the rice off my teeth. Oh, Jason, I almost couldn't even get that thing off the paper. Like, it was <laughs> stuck in the cabinet. It's so different, though. Yeah, it's I good. Had a and I like before. how it's flaky, but then you have, like, the crunchy bits on the top. Yeah. yeah I'm going to agree. I'm going to say both are sevens. I gotta agree with your assessment on both of them. Pretty, I mean, like I said, I feel like the culinary offerings at the Disney resorts, I mean, just Disney in general, have been on point. I mean, it matches, like, the theme of the resort. It's a little bit original, new. They can mass produce it. You gotta be able to mass produce stuff and stuff in places like this. The issue, I agree, is the Imagineering base decor for this particular area. Now, do I enjoy certain aspects of it? Sure, like, I think the light fixtures are nice in Carousel Coffee, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. But And I like that there is, like, a little seating area. Yeah. No, there's certain, you know, I don't want to, like, just draw negativity on everything, but when you look in comparison to, like, you know, like, the, the exterior of the resort or even, like... Even just the lobby, just right next door. Like, yeah. all the stuff that's there. Yeah, it's, like, it, to go from that and then to walk into there, it's just kind of, like, dull. Yeah. No, I agree. It doesn't, it doesn't meet the theme as well, and... I think some people also said it looks like almost like a Marriott to me would see mass produced. And I just don't think that's Disney. Disney is supposed to have that attention to detail, that care. Um, although it's an enjoyable environment and the food I think is definitely on point. So this is cold brew with cinnamon bun syrup and there's other stuff in it. Milk. Milk. Mocha. Mocha. Yeah. Oh, so there's mocha. There is mocha. It's not like a lot. Can't forget about many. She's 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 Instagrammable. They have Mickey ones too, right? Yeah. But we're going for girl power. This is gonna go with the ear. I like these cookies. I do feel like that's gotta be the weakest link, though. Yeah. Out of the other. When it's in a bag, yeah, no, you gotta have you gotta measure your expectations. You know, you can't like compare like this to this. If they're if they're sevens, they're two different sevens. You know, not all one to ten is the same. Um, it's a good sugar. I mean, it's a good sugar for me, though. Look at it. I'll give it a six. It's valid. It's good. I get to like it. I get to see Mickey, Minnie Mouse's face. It's, um, it, it executes where it's got to execute. And I think it's good. Nice. All right, so that does it for our time checking out the new Carousel Coffee at the Boardwalk Resort. I think like the food options are pretty solid. I'd like to see maybe a savory thing here or there. They do have some bagels, it looks like. Well, I guess I want you to go to the deli for the, yeah. for the savory. Yeah, and also that Italian sandwich we had at the deli we saw was off the menu today. Yeah, that was sad. We were thinking about getting that after it, but yeah, not available. Uh, the decor, yes, definitely seems off compared, especially to the rest of the right? It sticks out almost like a sore thumb. Uh, I did, you know, I, I don't mind the Disney pictures. I do think the light fixtures were nice, but again, a space that you could find outside of Disney. So then why is it in Disney? You know, that's yeah, where I, I would mean, take this, it. The theming in that resort is so beautiful and so intricate. Yeah. And then, so that just leaves so much to be desired. Yeah. But the stuff was good. If I was staying at this resort, would I go there? Yes. Yeah. If I was in the I'll Epcot the area, quick, yeah. would I walk over if I had time? Yes. Would I go out of my way to come here? Yeah, no. no. Yeah, no. It's not worth. There's better you know. spaces. I would even say that the uh, the Starbucks at Epcot <laughs> Connections Cafe is probably a more well themed or intricately detailed space, especially with all the different tea teapots and coffee stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, food was pretty solid. Um, I definitely would like to see you know something done with the decor, especially that that seating area, because <laughs> it was just bland. It's all. It was know. so white. Like yeah. I was just like when I'm looking into the camera when I'm shooting Jay, I just see a wall <laughs> of white. It made for great food shots because yeah. there was nothing to, to take up the background. But, you know, as far as a immersive environment, definitely not. Although, my, food salad. My favorite coffee on property is at the Riviera, the Petite Cafe. That, to me, is top. Yeah, no, they have good coffee top at the Riviera. Notch. They, have so, they have a bigger selection and their pastries are just unbelievable. Yeah. So... Yeah. Not to knock on carousel coffee. Yeah, because no. the cinnamon bun coffee was very good. Coffee was good, but, but they could do better. not worth going out of your way for. Yeah, I agree. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. They make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. They walked over to the Yacht Club. Yeah.
Yeah, we're gonna get some quick service here since the Italian sandwich is no longer. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, the deli is the quick service there and I feel like it didn't have as much as when we first went there. If you guys have seen our previous video. It has that really good grilled cheese though. Yeah, grilled cheese is really good. Yeah. But we need some protein. Yeah, so we wanted to get very the paninis here. It looked pretty solid. And it's just a nice walk to take on the boardwalk yeah, seeing all these resorts. It's super easy. Yeah, all these are on our bucket list for stays for sure.